All right, ladies and gents. So in this video, this is just gonna be a follow-up call of something I did on a Zoom call the other night. And I was supposed to record that Zoom call and upload it onto YouTube, but I actually didn't, I've completely forgot. So in this video, we're gonna talk about exactly what we talk about in the Zoom call. So it's gonna be exactly the same, uh, maybe a little bit more condensed. So normally in institutional trading, right? Or institutional concepts, smart money concepts, whatever you wanna call it, right? Um, we have our standard institutional move where we get a swing high, swing low, and then we want in some form of premium retracement into an order block, like so. And we catch the sell at this point, and it's all very well. We have a target down here, right? This doesn't always happen, okay? Sometimes we react off things that are lower, and we don't really understand why. Now, a breaker block can be one of those reasons as to why we might react off a little bit lower. And the idea of me showing this to you is that you can have it as another point of interest and you can get in with lower time frame confirmations from that point so you can still catch a trade and catch some percentage. So the basic idea of a breaker block is we get a short term high that gets formed. We get a run of that high, so a run of this resting liquidity. We get a break structure move down and we get a reaction like so. Okay, so this is the short term high. We have a run above that resting liquidity and then we get a break of structure at this point and we get a reaction at this point, a lower time frame confirmation entry and we mark down. Now, the basic understanding of a break block is it's the last down candle before this up push. It runs this high. So that might be the last down candle within this region before that up push or vice versa for, you know, the other way around. So we get a short term low, we get a push down below that short term low, resting liquidity, break of structure, and then we have some form of reaction around this point there. And for this example here, there'll be the last up candle for this down push that took out this resting liquidity. So. What I'll do, I'll take you onto the actual charts and I'll get you some real um, examples. So let me just isolate this price action here. So what we have here, current price, is we've got a short term high gets formed. We get a run above this high and then we get a push down, which breaks some structure at this level here. OK, now with our understanding of what a breaker is, it's the last down candle before this up push that runs out this high. And if we look down, we've got up candle, up candle, up candle, up candle, down candle. So that's our last down candle before this up push. Okay, so I'll just mark that out. And as you can see, we come up into that area and we get a reaction down. Perfect. Uh, this area here, you'll be looking for lower time frame confirmations. And that might come in the form of a standard um, break of structure order block entry, or it might be a break of structure break of block entry. Either or, uh, fine. It's just so we have some fractal confirmation that price is going to move from this area so we can have a logical stop loss and etc. Instead of setting a limit on this area and then watching price blast through to an order block up here. So it's good to have the lower time frame confirmations. Okay. Now, I don't know if there was any lower time frame confirmations in here. Let's have a look. Yeah, perfect. This works absolutely perfectly. So we get a tap into that breaker block. We have a short term high here. We've got a run above that short term high. And then we've got a break of structure there. So we're looking for the break block here, which is the last down candle before this up push. And it turned out to be that one there. Now you can see we get the breakdown of structure and we actually get a reaction straight into that. So it might be the case that where this is your entry and then you have a conservative stop loss above this area. New target, whatever liquidity. To the downside, it might be a, uh, an obvious low or it might be like a daily low. So, for example, on this one, um, we're catching the trade from up here. We might be wanting to target this area down there. Like so. So that ends up being 1 to 14. You could also target other lows within the range. So other obvious lows. It's all personal preference. Might be a take partial zone as well. But basically the idea there is we've had our four hour breaker block and then we've 
looks for a lower time frame confirmation when price has got up into there. It's given us a five minute breaker block and we entered and it shifts down. So I'll give you a couple more examples. Let me just clear this off. Let me give you current price action. So here is actually another great example. We have a short term high. We've got push above that high with this price action. Then we get a breakdown of price here, um, break of structure. And then as you can see, we get a reaction there from our break block. We've got short term high here, push above, looking for the last up, uh, down candle before this up move that takes the high. And we're left with this candle, as you can see. We get some form of reaction in there. Okay. Now it doesn't necessarily have to be um, have to be a breaker block where you get a breaker confirmation. So it might be an order block where you get a breaker confirmation. So let's use this price action down here. Um, we've got a short term low. We've got a high. We get a run down at that low, and we've actually got an order block within here. Okay. So this is standard institutional stuff. Um, this is like premium, premium fib level between this and this as a range. Okay, perfect. So all we're looking for is price to come up into that area and then looking for a lower time frame confirmation. So let me go on down, down onto the five minute. Perfect. So you can see we get a run up into this area. Now, if we're looking at key structural points, we've got a key structural point there. We've got a key structural point here. Okay. And we're looking for a break of this structural point before we gain entry to the trade. So what we do, we have a high, we have then some short term lows, short term high. And what we see here is actually quite important. We have this short term high that gets run by this price action there. Then what follows that is a significant push down, which breaks this other key point. So we've got a key break of structure there. And we've got another short term high in there, short term high, push up above both of those, and then we get a shift down, break of structure, and we're looking for the last down candle before this up move that took out those those areas. We see this is the last down candle. Okay. And let me just focus on the whole candle. See, we move right back up into here and we get a push down straight away from that area. Now if you really wanted to, what you could do is you could refine it a little bit, or you could wait for another fractal confirmation. So we've got we've gone from the four hour to the five minute, and then now we can look for once we get into this area. Let's say let's let, let's look for a one minute. Okay. So let's have a look in here. We get a push into this area, and Coincidentally, we've actually got a one minute order block which lines up with the higher time frame five minute break block. Cool. But what we've got here is slightly different, right? So we have short term highs in here. You can see the short term highs get run by this sort of price action there. And then we get a significant shift to downside which breaks some structure. Okay. We've got structural break, we've got short term highs that get run. And we're looking for the last down candle before the up move that run those highs. Okay. This is our last down candle. That's our breaker block. And as you can see, as soon as we get that break on this candle, the next candle comes up in and taps it to the absolute T. So this candle, we get a break on this candle, and then this candle comes in, taps to the absolute T. Um, stop loss above here or stop loss above here, personal preference, depends on your risk tolerance. And then at a high time frame target, you want to target liquidity or daily lows, whatever it is. Whatever um, is going to have the strongest draw. Let me get rid of that. Um, whatever is going to have the strongest draw. So if we have these daily lows as a strong draw, let me look on this time frame here. Um, we actually can have about a 1 to 30 in this current price action you can see we didn't quite reach all the way down we probably reacted off something in there so this is why taking partials is key it's never going to run all the way to your target um without some sort of hiccup so taking partials is a very important process and in this case um we come back up to tap out break even so initially we ran 1 to 11 1 to 10 which is still a great risk reward and you might have been like okay i'm actually just going to take it 
out of these loads or these loads, whatever it is. Um, but that's why taking partials is very important. So that, in a sense, is the breaker block, and we've got some practical confirmations. Just as a recap, um, we're going to have a short-term high, short-term low that gets formed. We're going to have a push above that previous high, the rest in liquidity, a break to the downside, and we're looking for the last down candle, which will be probably be situated around this area before this up move that runs this liquidity. And we're looking um, at that area as a point of interest for some confirmation. Okay. And that's if we're using this as a higher time frame sort of idea, right? Um, we've also got vice versa as well. So we've got short term low, gets formed, get a run down we, uh, below that low, taking out liquidity. We've got this, uh, this high that gets broken, break of structure. And then we've got our point of interest. And at this point, if it's on a high time frame, we're looking for a lower time frame confirmation. If we're in a high time frame point of interest, say this one uh, as an example, we might have um, some form of higher time frame point of interest. It might be an order block or a breaker block or whatever and the price is tapped into. And then we get this as a further confirmation. That is perfect. And then we've got vice versa. That is also perfect as well. And in this scenario, we can put stop loss above the highs up here um, or above this area here. But depending on risk tolerance, I'd probably just suggest the safer option, which would be covering the highs and then having your target as daily liquidity, four hour liquidity, basically anywhere where there's going to be a strong draw into liquidity. So that is a breaker block. Um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me and I will happily address them in another video. Until then, um, do some study, do some back testing on this pattern because it happens all the time and I'll catch you in the next video.